want to sync your Galaxy Watch or Samsung Health to Google Fit? If yes, then you're watching the right video. Today, I'm going to share with you three methods using which you can easily sync your Galaxy Watch and Samsung Health data to Google Fit. So without any delay, let's get started. The first method will sync the data from the Google Fit app on your Galaxy Watch to the Google Fit app on your smartphone. To do that, first open the Play Store on your watch and install Google Fit application. Follow the prompts and log in using the Gmail connected to the Google Fit. Allow all the permissions and proceed to complete the setup. Now open the Google Fit app on your phone. Go to Journal and tap on Sync icon. After that, all the data recorded on the Galaxy Watch Google Fit can be synced to the Google Fit app on your phone. If you find this video informative, then please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Additionally, you can also sync the Samsung Health data with Google Fit. You can sync the Samsung Health data with Google Fit in two ways. The first method is by using the Health Connect app by Google. It is the official method that lets you sync your Samsung Health data to Google Fit. The second method is to use the third-party application HealthSync to link the two apps. But wait, here's a note for you. The data is synced between Google Fit and Samsung Health. So both methods will only work if the Samsung Health is synced to your Galaxy Watch. You can use both these methods to sync the data between Google Fit and any Samsung smartwatch you have, be it Galaxy Watch 4, 5 or 6. Connect Samsung Health to Google Fit using Health Connect. Now, let's go ahead and try the first method. Download the Health Connect app from the Play Store and open it. Tap on Get Started and go to App Permissions. Now you have to select Fit and tap on Setup. Next, select the permissions that you would like Google Fit to access and tap on Allow. It is preferred to allow all the permissions for the sync to work correctly. Now, select Samsung Health and allow all the permissions for it as well. And that's it. Now, you will see that the data on your Google Fit will gradually sync with Samsung Health, though it can take a while. However, in my experience, it can sometimes erase your steps and activities data. It has happened to me and many other Galaxy Watch users as well. But you can still check the accurate data by going to the source data. Health Sync is a third-party application that allows you to easily connect your Samsung Watch data to Google Fit. Although this is a paid app with both one-time payment and subscription-based payment options, it does offer an 8-day free trial without any registration. You can easily install the Health Sync app on your smartphone from the Play Store. Open the Health Sync app and tap on OK. You will receive a pop-up in which you have to select the source app for the data. So, just tap on Samsung Health. Next, you have to choose the destination apps in which the data is to be synced. You can choose multiple destination apps. Select Google Fit and tap on OK. After that, tap on Declaration of Consent and select Accept. Now, tap on Check Google Account Connection and proceed to select your Google account to continue to the Health Sync app. Tap on Check Activity Tracking in Google Fit and follow the prompts to disable Track Your Activities in Google Fit as it can interfere with the syncing. After that, select Any Data and tap on OK. Now you will be prompted to allow a bunch of permissions. Allow them and follow the same process to select the data that you want to sync. After selecting all your preferred data, just tap on the Sync icon and your data will be synced. And this is it. Now all your data that is recorded on your Galaxy Watch can easily be synced to your Google Fit app. You can manually sync the data as well as set the frequency for auto-sync. So, these were the three methods to sync your Galaxy Watch or Samsung Health data to Google Fit. The first one is by installing Google Fit on your Samsung Watch and then syncing it to the phone app. The second one is by using the Google's proprietary Health Connect app. And the third way is by using a third-party app called Health Sync. All these methods do the job. However, from time to time, there might be slight differences in the data across both apps. And that's it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, then please give it a like, comment down which method you find the easiest, and subscribe to Wearholic for more wearable videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.